guys welcome back to my channel uh today uh, i am going to do a little back to school haul so um it's back to school time can you believe it is august already like i feel like it was just yesterday that i was filming new year's homeschool goals and it is august already <laughs> yeah so we're in the vlog and Mommy's trying to do the rock. For me. And I want to help her rock. Okay. I'm her boyfriend. She's invited to my birthday party. I'm invited to your birthday. And, and, so. You are my best friend. And. But can I film the rest of this video? Okay, so I'll more, see you in a little bit. But okay? more doggies will come in like this. This is what I've been up against. <laughs> So let me try this again. Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to try and do a back to school haul before the kids interrupt me. Um, they are working on some French um, on their iPad in their rooms. Um, I think they're using Duolingo. They've been really into that lately. But anyway, so I thought I would just use this as a, an opportunity to just show you guys um, some of the things that we've gotten for back to school. Um, I picked up a lot of supplies. Uh, I've just been getting those over time um, throughout the summer. So I got some uh, fun supplies to go in our studio space. I got some glitter glue. Um, the kids said that they wanted to make slime with it. Um, they can do whatever they want with it. It doesn't matter to me. So I <laughs> just got each of them a thing of glitter glue. Um, uh, most of this stuff was from Target because we went out that day and I just grabbed the things that I thought were super cute. That's what we did. So this was from the dollar spot. Um, it is just a some pocket cards, some alphabet pocket cards. I thought this would be really cute to be able to add to Savannah's work boxes. So I grabbed those. Um, I got several packs of glue sticks because we needed those we were all out hot glue sticks we needed those as well for the studio space i got these felt letters i try to pick up different types of letters anytime that i can um i just think it's a fun way for them to do spelling so these are just black felt letters I also got these. These came these came from Hobby Lobby though. Um and they were I thought they were on sale and then they weren't and then I didn't have the heart to take them back because the kids liked them so much. They're just bottle caps and they have letters on them. I thought they were super cute. Um I also got this from Target. I think this is just another thing to stick into Savannah's um work boxes. Just the wipe away letter handwriting practice cards so we got those this obviously i didn't get from the store <laughs> but that's in there and then i think yeah we also got this from the dollar spot um they're just opposite puzzle cards for savannah to use I'm finding that I have to get, I'm, I'm having to get quite a few just little things for Savannah to keep her busy. Um, I guess I didn't have to do it th that with the boys, but I had a lot of, I had collected a lot of different um, manipulatives that I think she's just really used to now. So she needs, um, so she needs some new things. So I figured I would pick up a few of those for her. Then I got, um, this one was on sale for two or three dollars. So we are almost finished with the Phantom Toe booth and I really, really like it. So I want to add it to our library. So it was a good price and I picked it up. <laughs> I also got two more books. I'm really trying to find um, more fun chapter books that my oldest can kind of get into a little bit more. My youngest too, but my youngest really doesn't have a problem finding a book that he likes. He um, reads through any and everything pretty much and really enjoys it. My oldest, however, um, I was doing a pretty good job with him and reading chapter books 
But then, <laughs> my husband, I thought, bless his heart, he was um, being helpful. And he went to the library and he picked up um, Diary of a Wimpy Kid for my son. And he bought that home. And before I noticed it, um, he was inhaling it. And he loved that book. Um, he was up reading it at night and he told me how much he enjoyed it. Inside, you guys, I really freaked out about it. Um, because I, I don't not want to say that Diary of a Wimpy Kid isn't horrible, but it's kind of horrible. It's just like, you know, what are they learning? Um, it's not teaching them anything good, so I prefer for him not to read it. Um, but he was really, really enjoying it. But um, I tried to calm myself down a little bit. I said, Lord, okay, help me learn how to deal with this. Because obviously my husband was just trying to um, be a part of the deal, you know, the game. And... Um, and my son ended up loving it and I didn't want to, I don't know what I want to say. I didn't want to like ruin that for him. So he was reading it for a couple of days and then one day he came into the dining room. I was planning at the dining room table and he came into the dining room and he was like, you know, do you know that, I don't know exactly, I don't remember exactly what it was, but he was like, do you know that um, the wimpy kid you know wanted to lie to his dad or something like that so basically he recognized that whatever he was doing was just not okay and we had a really good conversation about it and we had a conversation about how some um books you read and movies you watch um don't uplift you um and they're just mm, kind of no good <laughs> So I thought it was great. It was a great, it ended up working out really well. Cause if it was up to me, I wouldn't have exposed him to that necessarily. But I do think that um, it's really important for our kids to learn how to recognize that they're not appropriate. And it's good for them to be able to make the decision on their own or a guided decision, you know, until they can make the decisions on their own that they shouldn't participate in that activity whether it be reading or watching a movie or playing a game or playing with people so i think it's something that is really good for them to learn and so i think that by me choosing not to freak out about it in the beginning it you know presented an opportunity for me to have a conversation with him about it so after that it really stunk though because he was so excited about um reading the book at first and so i was like oh, i really need to find some books that he's that excited um about reading and and he really enjoys stories so he really enjoys when um i am reading to him but sometimes he struggles because obviously he doesn't read as well to be able to grab a hold of the story um like he can when i'm reading it um i'm also just showing him that he can read um silently and i think he's really into that as well but anyway i said all of that to say that i picked up these two um magic tree house these two magic tree house books for him i'm hoping that he um can read these and get into these instead of things like wimpy kid so that's what we're doing there i think my battery's gonna die you guys which really stinks because it took me so long to start this process anyway i'm just gonna keep going the next thing that i got was duct tape <laughs> we needed some um duct tape for their tinkering space out in the studio so i just got these three black silver white um and then i also got this from target i got these discover america puzzle and plays i got the this one is the united states and then this one here is the world so i like these because they're puzzles and then they have little play cardboard pieces and then they have a little booklet that has information that they can um learn a little extra something <laughs> um the next puzzle i got was just this dinosaur puzzle again just another little something that can keep her busy for a little while she can be a part of and then i think that is pretty much oh then i got this stack of um 
construction paper, which I really love because I don't know if you're anything like me, but I love construction paper. However, I do not like how dull the colors are on your normal construction paper. So this is like the bright sheets. Um, well, not all the colors are bright, but they're like bolder colors. So I love that. I don't know if you can tell on here, but they're brighter, bolder. Ooh, I don't think you can really tell. Yeah, but they're brighter, bolder colors, and I really like that. So I wanted to grab that. And then the last thing I got was book bags. Um, the kids' book bags that they have currently, that they had, um, came from Five Below. I had gotten them for five dollars. They were really inexpensive. Um. But that was when I was just figuring out, are we going to use the book bags? You know, how are we going to use the book bags? So I didn't want to spend a lot of money on them. So I just picked them up for $5 from Five Below. And yeah, that was two years ago. They have holes at the bottoms. Um, the zippers are broken. So they needed um, new book bags. So that's what we got. We have been, I don't know if this is just something that's going to fade away or not. We'll see. But well, we've been working on our space unit, so we ended up getting um, space themed book bags. So Cameron has this super cute book bag. It's um, the Space Junk Academy, <laughs> and it has patches on it, little astronauts and things like that. So we really like it. I like it because it has lots of compartments on the inside, spaces to hold their iPad, um, more than enough space in there to hold their um, binder, and a couple of other things. It's got a pocket here, which is nice, a nice big lined pocket in case they spill something. And then they've got a little space on the side for their water bottle. And and then another little space on the side here um and then it's got some padding in the back here so i really liked it it was made really well it was a little bit more than i wanted to spend but they'll probably have them for a couple more years so i'm fine with that so he got this one and then kendall um got i forgot the name of this brand oh man doobie i'm not sure what was it? Anyway, <laughs> I got one for him and then we just got the patches and then I ironed on the patches for him. So his is still outer space, still lots of pockets, pockets on the side, space in the front, another pocket here. It's got a nice like padded handle on the top, which is great for Kendall. <laughs> and oh, Yubi, Y-O-O-B-I. Anyway, so it's really super cute. I love the way that it turned out. And then Savannah's this last, I got her a little kitty cat. So when Savannah, <laughs> when Savannah is, um, yeah, she makes kitty cat noises and it's the cutest thing ever and partially annoying sometimes depending on, you know, what kind of mood you're in. But anyway, I just got her this little kitty cat book bag. I thought it was super cute and it's the perfect size because surprisingly, um, it's kind of hard to find um that size where it's not too big and it's not too small um so this is big enough to hold her binder but not so big that it's just like she's swimming in it and it still has the pockets on the side space in the middle the book bag that she had um last time was super small there was no compartments so and it couldn't fit her binder so that didn't really work out so well and then i just put little sanitizers and coin purses or coin pockets on each one of them and that's what they have there so that's it you guys that's all i got it wasn't too much stuff just a few puzzles a few supplies some book bags and a few things for um our studio space and that was it so hopefully <laughs> you like this video i'm trying to minimize my purchases um, from now on because I pretty much think we have most things covered with the exception of like some new printer paper and things like that. Um, oh, and I also got a new printer. Yes, got a new printer. I needed that. Um, but that's nothing super special. It feels special, but nothing super special that I need to show you right now. I'll show you in my room tour. Anyway, hopefully you guys like this video. Um, yeah, give it a thumbs up if you like videos like these. Make sure you talk to me in the comments if you like. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in our next video.